and the wealthy, successful, money-making traders. This is your trader's friend. Thank you for joining me for another video, guys. I am so glad you can be here with me. Today, I'd like to talk to you about something that I've visited in the past. However, I feel the need to visit it again. Before I get into the video, I want to remind you to please visit my blog spot, tradersbud.blogspot.com. And on this blog spot, you will find a wealth of information that will help you to succeed in your trading. Under labels to your right, you have an entire library of topics that are designed to help you to be successful. Now, these deal more with the psychological aspect of trading as opposed to the strategic part of trading. However, it's good information and it's definitely worth a visit. I will put a link to my blog spot below. Want to talk to you about gambling in the market. And you're probably struggling with addiction if you find that you have to be in a trade to feel normal or at ease or to relax. Not all market conditions are right for trading. I'll give you an example. Last night was a perfect example of a market that wasn't worth trading. I traded this pound yen pair and I traded this euro yen pair. And the euro yen surprisingly had a point that it ran well. But you can see that you got legitimate trade setups that, and it was more so on this pound yen pair than on the euro JPY pair, but legitimate setups that just went nowhere. So when I finally went to bed last night, because the market would give you a peak at a few pips before quickly coming back on you, it would give you maybe seven or eight pips, maybe uh, yeah, about seven or eight pips, and then it was pulling back on you. So at this point, I decided, you know what? I'm frustrated, not my best self. This is not a market that's going to yield me the kind of profit that's worth my time. So I went ahead and went to sleep. And you can see where the market is right now. This is another one that you have a lot of time going by, but you're just not getting a lot of pips. So I woke up during a New York session and made some money back. And now I'm at break even for the day. So this is a market for me that's not worth my time to trade. I'm going to save my capital for a better market setup. You find that you can't turn off your screen. If you're losing all of your money, but you find that you can't stop. If you're not paying your bills for the excitement of being in the market. If you're borrowing money from your credit cards, getting cash advances from your credit cards, or borrowing money from family and friends to feed your addiction then you're going to have to change if you want to be successful at trading. If you have a naturally addictive personality, you have to be extra careful as the constant need for the action of the market can be a siren song to financial doom. Let's deal with, well, let's deal with some other things too of reasons for you not to be in the market. If you are in the market because you're bored, because you're lonely, then those are not times to be in the market because you have people like me on the other side of the screen that are waiting for the proper trade setup who are going to be on the right side of the trade. And when you get in the market out of boredom and you end up on the wrong side of the trade, we're on the right side of the trade while the trade is going against you, don't get into the market because you have nothing to do or because the market isn't moving or because you're afraid that you're going to miss out. So these are all reasons not to be in the market. And you definitely don't want to enter the market because you can't stand the anticipation of the wait. And it is hard. When I was here last night and all of this crappy little price action, Oh my word, it was so hard to wait because for me, I got up during the European session. It was the right 
time to trade, but the market just was not a tradable market. And in order to succeed in Forex, what you have to have, you have to have two things. You have to have a proper time and a proper trade setup. If you can't wait for the proper trade setup, then you're going to be in trouble because you are trading against the most savvy traders in the world who can wait for the setup or who can turn off their screen when there's no money to be made and they can go to bed. So these are the things that you want to watch out for. And this is the thing. <laughs> I get trades wrong every day. Do you know why? Because... I can't tell the difference between a legitimate trade setup and or a legitimate trade setup and the counterfeit setups. Got lots of counterfeit setups last night. So, you know, I ended up at a point where I wasn't making money. Not until I got up later during a New York session. But I can't tell the difference between a counterfeit trade setup and a legitimate trade setup. But what I do know is how to cut a bad trade quickly. So let's deal with some of the things that can help you to be successful in the market and to curb the gambling habit. Number one, I'm numbering this. <laughs> Make a trading plan. Make a trading plan. Make a trading plan. That way is at least the beginning of the path to success for you. Pick a favorite setup and only trade that setup. For example, an engulf. If you decide, oh, I'm only going to take an engulf as a setup. And if price comes back to close below the previous candle or below below your entry candle. Last night I got into this actual setup. Price then pretty much came to close below. This is my entry candle. Price came to close below it. I was out of that trade because the trade was not going to be advantageous for me. And it's a good thing I did because you can see where the market dropped to before I got another opportunity. Here you are, another what looks like a legitimate trade setup. And pretty soon I just barely got out of that with a teeny tiny bit of profit. So knowing to cut a bad trade quickly is essential to success in Forex. And this is gold. Guys, this is absolutely gold. Focus on doing what's right more than focusing on the profit. Teaching yourself to do what's right regardless of market conditions is a sure path to success in the market. Because once you learn to do what's right, then the profits are going to follow. Because doing more of what's right teaches you how not to do what's wrong. So focus on doing what's right. And keep in mind that trading is not merely a game of chance. It is a well thought out strategic plan to wealth building. And for professional traders like myself who are waiting for proper trades set up, that's what we're doing every day. We're getting into the market to build our family's wealth. Yes, there's a lot of money in the market. There's a lot of potential and there's opportunity to enrich your life. But you have to be smart. You have to be strategic. You have to have a plan of action. Because when I get in the market every day, I get into the market with a plan for success every single day. And I'm not in the market because I'm bored. I'm not in the market because I can't stand the anticipation of the wait. And I'm not in the market because I'm afraid that I'm going to miss out. Because the market is going to move. Because the banks have to make money. So the market's going to move. It's just a matter of when it's going to move. And the market will chop all day, all night, as long as it's necessary 
for the institutions to get the positions they need. So if they need a thousand buy positions, they're going to chop the market until they get those positions. So your job every day is to wait for the clear advantage in the market. You are waiting for the institutions, for the banks to move. That's what you're looking for. You're looking for the path to the wealth. And the path to the wealth only comes from movement from the bank. So wait until you can see a clear advantage in the market. Last night, this looked like a clear, this looked like a clear advantage in the market for me. Initially, my stop was there, very uncomfortable. Stop, I moved it up, moved it up, and it's like, you know what? I'm so over this market. But you can see, even though that was a strong move to the upside. We are still, but we were still in a downtrend. So just keep that in mind. Practice more of doing what's right than making profit. And if you need to trade with smaller position sizes to do that, teach yourself to do it the right way if you want to be profitable at this game. I want to remind you that you can absolutely do this. You can be successful at Forex. Have an amazing, wonderful, pip-filled trading week.